Hello, welcome back or welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel and if you haven't been here before then I, I probably haven't told you. If you have been here before, I've probably told you no many times. I'm doing Ironman Wales and it is this weekend. Oh my god, um, it's only a few days away. So thank you very much to those who have spoken to me, messaged me, commented on videos in the last few weeks all about what bike I'm going to use for the race. Now I've not been sure about whether to use a road bike with clip-on bars or my time trial bike. I've now settled on, as you can probably tell, a time trial bike. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much to all those people who have suggested either way. I really appreciate it. Uh, but especially those who got, got quite aggressive reminding me that it is a race. Am I taking this seriously? Do I want to do what I want to do results wise? Yes. So here we are. So I just thought I'd give you a quick spec run through and set up talk about how I'm going to run this for Ironman Wales. So I'm going to start from the frame. It's a Planet X Exoset 2 in size extra large. I'm six foot two, so only quite a big bike. Um, you'll notice it's in a quite a bright blue. You can't buy this from Planet X. I did have it sprayed a couple of years ago. I love the colour. It's Ford Vision Blue. I had a car this colour. absolutely loved it, so I thought, why not have a bike this colour? I know the stickers made up and everything, so love it. I've paired that with a Zip 808 wheel set. Love the wheels. They're a 2016 model, so they're a few years old now. They're not the sort of state-of-the-art ones, but again, they're still quite, um, quite stiff, quite aero, so yeah, love them. Tires wise, I'm now running Continental Grand Prix TT tires with um, latex inner tubes. It's supposed to be quite fast, or supposed to be very fast, really. Um, so I bloody hope they are. Group set, uh, Ultegra 6800. It's a bit of a Frankenstein sort of group set. Ultegra 6800 front chain set with a 5236 chainring, so mid compact, paired with a Shimano 105 10 speed rear mech, 5700 that is. Um, and I'm, at the minute, I've got 1125 on there, but I'm going to be running a 1228. Uh, it comes from Wiggle tomorrow. I binned my 1228 earlier this year when I thought I was done with the 28 tooth cassette. For some reason, I threw it in the bin, but there you go. So we'll have a 28 on there. We'll take our 6800 brakes. The calipers are actually quite good. Uh, the levers are quite bad. The pads and the wheel braking is quite bad, so it doesn't really stop very well. Uh, it's okay. Wales isn't very hilly. Uh, at least it's going to be dry, so it's not as bad as it normally is. The bars are Ian Camish time trial bars. They're carbon. Uh, the extensions are aluminium, they're USC 40 degree extensions. Aero Coach high sided armrests. Made my pads myself with some 8mm foam, 15mm angled shims on the armrest just to get my sort of hands up and, and arms up on the bars. Adamo time trial saddle. I used to struggle with this when my thighs are a bit faster than they are now. I used to rub on the outside, but it, they're okay now, so I wouldn't say the saddle is really comfy, but it's, it's okay. Generally, sort of 40 50 miles in, your legs start hurting more than your arse, so. You'll be okay. Um, now, with doing Ironman, you're out there all bloody day, so you need to fuel and food for all bloody day. So if I start with the food, I have a top two bag on there, which I put a lot of sugary stuff in there, my sort of like break glass emergency, or some remnants of some old snacks in there. Uh, break glass emergency, you know, like um, jelly beans, cliff blocks, that sort of thing. I normally tape a few gels to my bars on there, like a classic triathlete. And then I also have a bigger bag on there that I put in the sort of slow burning stuff. So cliff bar, uh, malt loaf, that sort of thing. Hydration. I've got two hydration bottles on my bike. It's a bit heavy to carry, but I quite like making my own nutrition last as long as the course as I can. So I've got a 750ml bottle on the front and a 750ml bottle on the back. I used to run one of those like hydration bottles with a straw on the front. But on a hilly course, it's easier to sit up and have a drink from a proper bottle, I think, rather than trying to faff around with a straw and refill it at eight stations. I'm just going to drink this one, chuck it, pick up my second bottle, put it in there, drink it, chuck it, get another bottle, and just keep refilling the top bottle, you know, putting that in there, and not putting uh, another bottle in there so I don't carry too much weight around. Uh, talking about weight, spares bottle there. You'll notice that's quite hard to get out because I've put a cable tie on the bottle cage. I can get it out if I hold it and give it a pull. The idea of that is that when I go over some bumps, it won't fall out. Um, I learned the hard way a couple of years ago that you need to carry enough spares to carry two punctures. So in there I've got two inner tubes, two CO2s, two tie levers and a motor tool. So I should be able to deal with anything because regardless of whatever my targets are for the Ironman, the first target needs to be get to the finish line and a puncture can end your race. So touch wood, there won't be any, but um, if there are two then I should be able to sort them. Although I will have gone mad by that point. Try and make things easier for me. I put my uh, wahoo on the right on the end of the bars there, so when I'm on the time trial bars, I can see it just between my hands. I don't have to move my head around too much looking for where the numbers are. It's there. I also have a map on there as well, so that when I'm descending, I can see where I can make up some time on on the descents and where I need to break, so I don't stack it in like an idiot. Uh, that's paired with my wear heart rate monitor, 
and I'll also use Vivero Asioma pedals. So the dual sided power pedals, I think they're great. It's really uh, important to keep an eye on your numbers while, you, while you're racing. And that is about it. I think that is everything that is in, in a whirlwind sort of spec talk. So let me know down below. Would you do anything differently? What do you think about this setup? Is there anything you like? Is there anything you don't like? Um, if there are any suggestions as to what to change for the weekend, by all means fire away, but it's too late for me to change anything. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I've taken the bottle cage bolts out of there to save some weight because I weighed it earlier. I don't even have to guess how much it weighs with the spares bottling, but with no fluids and no food on, this weighed 10 kilos. What the hell? That is heavy. So plus one and a half kilos in fluid, probably 500 grams, 750 grams, maybe a kilo in food, I don't know. Um, you know, you're sort of looking at maths, what, 12 and a half, 13 kilos? That is like, that's a heavy bike. But, um, you know, thankfully I've got some legs to try and power me round. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope this works out on Sunday. Um, if you're doing Ironman Wales, let me know what bike setup you're running down below. And I'll see you on the beach.